its phases. Besides Earth, the only other place in the universe that people have visited is the Moon. The Moon is not classified as a planet. Instead, it's called a natural satellite because it orbits the Earth, just like the Earth orbits the Sun. Sometimes the Moon is farther away from the Earth than at other times. That's because the Moon doesn't orbit in a perfect circle. The Moon is made up of metal and rock, just like Earth, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. The Moon's outer shell, or the crust, is covered by lunar soil, which is fine rock particles, kind of like sand or clay. Gravity is the force that pulls objects together. Gravity is what keeps you and everything else on Earth from floating away. You weigh more on Earth than you would on the Moon because the pull of gravity is much stronger on Earth than it is on the Moon. If you weigh 66 pounds on Earth, you will only weigh 11 pounds on the Moon because the pull of gravity is a lot less on the Moon. Astronauts bounce as they walk on its surface. Earth is bigger than the Moon. It is about 8,000 miles across. The Moon is only about 2,000 miles across, or one-fourth that size. That's about the same distance from Utah to New York. The distance from Earth to the Sun is about 93 million miles. The Sun may seem close to us because we can feel its warmth, but it's actually very, very far away. In fact, if it were possible to travel on a plane to the sun, it would take us 19 years to get there. The distance from the Earth to the moon is only about 239,000 miles. It takes astronauts about three days to get there. Astronauts have landed on the moon several times. The first person to walk on the moon was Neil Armstrong on July 20th, 1969. The pilot's name for that mission was Buzz Aldrin. He stepped onto the moon about 20 minutes after Neil Armstrong. Before those two astronauts walked on the moon, spacecraft had orbited both the moon and the Earth, but none of them have ever landed. NASA, which is the space program for the United States, organized five more moon landings after Neil Armstrong's mission. The last one was on December 11th, 1972. Even though there are some mountains on the moon, it is mostly made up of rock and dust. Meteorites, or rocks that have fallen from space, have caused craters on the moon. But other than that, the surface of the moon does not change because there is no rain, snow, or wind like there is on Earth. In contrast, the surface of the Earth is mostly covered in water. Earth has various types of landforms, such as mountains, deserts, ice, and forests. The atmosphere surrounds our Earth and is made up of different gases like oxygen. It protects life on Earth. Gravity keeps Earth's atmosphere in place. The atmosphere traps heat from the sun and absorbs the harmful rays. It then regulates the heat so that Earth's surface doesn't get extremely hot or cold. Earth can support living organisms, like plants and animals, because of our atmosphere and because there is water on Earth. Unlike the Earth, the Moon has no atmosphere. The temperature there can be more than 250 degrees below or above zero making it impossible for humans to live on the moon. There is also no water or air there. It takes about 365 days or one year for the Earth to orbit the sun, but it only takes about one month for the moon to orbit the Earth. The moon also spins on its axis as it orbits the Earth. An axis is an imaginary line from the North Pole to the South Pole. It takes Earth about 24 hours or one day to spin on its axis. But the Moon spins very slowly. It takes about 27 days for the Moon to make one entire spin on its axis. 
Did you know that the moon causes the tides in our ocean? Tides are when the water in the ocean rises and falls. At times, it is deep near the shore, and other times it's shallow. During low tides, when the water is shallow, you may be able to see small creatures, shells, and other habitats. The ocean tides rise because of the gravitational pull of the moon. Depending on the position of the earth, the moon, and the place you are standing, the moon may look bigger or smaller. Sometimes you can only see a small sliver, while other times you can see a full moon. However, the shape of the moon has not changed. It is always the same round shape. But have you ever wondered why it looks different from night to night? What you are seeing when you look up at the night sky is actually the sun reflecting off the moon's surface. The light part on the moon, or the part you can see, is the part that the sun is shining on. Without the sun, you could not see the moon at all. Most nights, when you look up at the moon, you can only see part of it. This is called a moon phase. There are different phases of the moon. First phase is called a new moon. A new moon occurs when the moon is between the sun and the earth. The far side of the moon is in full sunlight, but the side facing you is dark. It is not visible because the sun is not shining on the side that faces you. The next moon phase is called a waxing crescent moon. When the moon appears to get larger in the sky, it is called waxing. A crescent moon happens when a thin sliver of the moon is visible. It kind of looks like a banana. A crescent moon rises in the daytime and sets before midnight. Next comes the first quarter moon. This phase is often called half moon. During a half moon, we can see half of the moon while the other half is in darkness. The next phase is called a waxing gibbous which is less than a full moon, but more than half of it is still visible. The waxing gibbous is followed by a full moon. This happens when the earth, the moon, and the sun all form a line. During this phase, the moon is more lit up than any other phase. We can see a full moon best of all. It lights up the night sky, making things more visible at night on earth. A waning gibbous comes next. When the moon appears to be getting smaller in the sky, it is called waning. This moon glows red when it's near the horizon. A third quarter moon is just like a first quarter moon. It is called a third quarter moon because the moon has reached the last or third quarter of its orbit around the Earth. A waning crescent moon comes next followed by another new moon. And then the phases begin all over again. In ancient times, people used the moon and its phases to help them travel at night and keep track of time. The next time you look up at the night sky, notice how the sky lights up when there is a full moon. Look for the moon to appear during the daytime hours too and see if there are times it disappears completely. Maybe one day, you'll even be the next person who was lucky enough to walk or bounce on the moon. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.